consolidation and optimization, which I'm sure that all of you all have a feeling about that anyways. But rather than really talk about it too much, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the journey that Ohio has been on, a journey that began, hopefully you got my cue there, right? There we go. A journey that begins with a very siloed, fragmented IT landscape. I'm sure you all lived through that yourselves. A journey with 26 different cabinet agencies and over 100 boards and commissions, all operating independently. 26 different agency CIOs that do not report to the state chief information officer. And about 80% of our IT spend was on IT operations and infrastructure. And the only, the other 20% was really on the applications that support the citizens and the businesses. 32 separate data centers, inconsistent IT operational management, unknown security practices, spotty disaster recovery, and a large number of our applications, many on that applications were more than 20 years old. That was 2011. In 2012, we laid out the strategic direction for the state. And in 2013, the journey continued as we brought in over 100 individuals from over 18 agencies to develop a transformation plan, all with an, a common vision, an enterprise vision, to increase efficiencies, reduce duplication of effort, and save taxpayers' dollars, all focused on the public good. This vision was consolidation and optimization, so uh, really about the IT operations, with a focus on increasing our security posture and improving our DR capabilities and saving taxpayers' dollars at the same time. This multi-agency team developed a transformation plan for IT in Ohio a plan that identified key resources in the agencies that could support the transformation of Ohio's IT environment. A plan we continue to implement today and a plan, you know, you plan the work and you work the plan, it's really that simple. And the key to this was flipping the IT spending from IT operations to what really matters, which are really the applications that support the citizens and the business, businesses in Ohio. To understand where we're investing our dollars, underspending and overspending, and adjust accordingly, and redirect and repurpose the funds to optimize our application portfolio and the skill sets of our IT professionals, and to measure progress and communicate that progress on a regular basis. Some key ingredients to the success of this is executive sponsorship, a governor that understands the power of economy of scale, a budget director in a cabinet and a legislature that were supportive of enterprise approach to IT and really tapping into the strong IT professionals across the 26 agencies and focusing them on the enterprise. And of course, it's about IT leadership. To accomplish the level of change requires leadership at all levels. Leaders, not spokesmen. Leaders, not spokesmen. Leaders do that. You lead through change. And that's why we were asked to take these positions in the first place. However, for us to be successful, we have to recognize the agency CIO has to take that leadership leap as well. They can't be looking for reasons why we can't work together. They have to look for reasons why we should work together. As state CIOs, we need to recognize the courage it takes at the agency level to lead through that type of change. And we need to support their leadership through the inherent challenges they will face. So you look for an agency leader that provides the unvarnished truth, and you address the 800-pound gorillas, and there will be several, head on. And if you don't have the answers, you know it's really not that bad. It's OK, because you can work through those answers, and you can find them together. And you'll find those leaders. You have to engage them. You have to instill that enterprise perspective, and it can be a very powerful message. In Ohio, we knew we had a rich pool of IT leadership and IT professionals to draw from and to spearhead that change of, of, at all levels. We assembled a team of agency CIOs around the specific lines of business of the state. We fixed our data center, which was really more of a data center condominium, to a tier three capable data center. We built our servers, storage, network, and security teams using gunslingers from the agencies. We implemented a communication plan to explain the why, how, and what, and when of IT optimization. And we augmented these teams selectively with outside expertise and tools to really fortify our skills and capabilities and address legacy applications and consolidation of programs. To address customer service, we brought in agency leadership and key positions within our central services. Our chief operating officer is actually the former CIO from the Department of Transportation. Our network administrator actually came from the Department of Health. The server team lead is also from the Department of Health. 
this agency perspective permeated throughout our entire staff, the importance of what we do to support the business of the agencies and in turn the business of the state. We did this all without executive orders, without legislative mandates, without a defined optimization budget. We didn't contemplate layoffs or forced reduction in staff. We did it through retirement and attrition. It was always about the state, focusing on the mission of the agency and on the business of the state and its enablement. So you plan the work, you work the plan, but you gotta get started. You gotta push from shore. You have to navigate the work as you go as conditions arise. And the one caution I would always say is don't overthink it and don't overplan it. You have to be able to move through that motion as quickly as you can and never confuse motion with action. That always seems to have <laughs> an impact of, of some kind or not. So you look at sort of those common services that you have that you can move to more of an enterprise solution approach. Things like email, Office 365, endpoint protection, voice over IP, and cloud platforms that actually can get you there quicker. Along this journey, the one thing that I would say is communicate, communicate, communicate. In my world, communication leads to coordination, and coordination leads to collaboration. And you have to stay on message, and you have to make sure everyone is on the same page. We developed an IT ecosystem of employees, contractors, suppliers, business partners, and peers to understand what we were doing, why we were doing it, and why it is important to our citizens. 100 plus million in documented savings over 30 months from centrally managing 675 environments to just under 5,500 environments. I think it sort of speaks for itself. But if you think of that, that's about $3, or $3 million of savings a month. You divide that by 26 and you're talking of just a little bit over 100,000 per agency per month. That's really doable. It's not that hard if you work together and you work through that and you communicate on all levels. So keeping on script is essential. It's about the public good, plain and simple. It's that straightforward. Citizens do not care what tools you're using. They want simple, efficient, and easy ways to live and work and build and grow their businesses. Again, it's about public good. So you measure the progress, you celebrate your wins, communicate these wins to the agency at all level. You almost have to do that because there is some level at the agency that's not getting the message. And if your CIO is a spokesman, your agency CIO is a spokesman, it's gonna be really hard to get to that level. You need that leadership coming out of the agencies to help you get there. You measure those progress and celebrate those wins. That's one thing I'm very bad at. And of course, you have to communicate in English. Another thing that I'm constantly working on, my governor reminds me on a regular basis that I need to speak English. So I have to continually <laughs> focus on that. We use a lot of acronyms. We've got to move away from that depending on your audience, as you know. Identify and recognize that talent, too, when you're in the agencies and you know those folks. Call them out, support them, and let them know they're not alone through that process. And Get that talent to work on behalf of the citizens and our taxpayers, because that's really what it's about. But you have to do, you have to take action, and actions speak louder than words, and plan the work and work the plan and get it done. And as Teddy Roosevelt said, far and away, the best prize in life is working hard at work worth doing, and we're certainly doing this in Ohio. Thank you. <laughs>